Hey, my name is Pastor Maridi Wanjao, Pastor M, Senior Pastor of Mavuno Church. Wow, as we come to an end of this year, I am so, so grateful for what a year it's been. For many of us, we can truly testify that the Lord gave us a year of ease and acceleration. Regardless of the things that were going on around us, our theme verse this year was the people who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. And I know just hearing some of the testimonies from people around Mavuno everywhere else that, oh my goodness, God has been faithful to His Word. I just want to share a few things that we are so grateful for as a church uh, this year. And I know you've got your own that you can add to this and we encourage you throughout this whole season to just make it a time of thanksgiving. Look what the Lord has done. So I'm going to just share just eight things that I'm grateful for today. As I think back to this year, and I know there's probably even more, but I'm just going to pick my eight. Uh, the first is land. That this is a year when, uh, apart from the land we own as a church at Hill City, at least three other pieces of land were donated to Mavuno uh, in different spaces. Uh, one actually in Kigali, Rwanda, and then two in Kenya, one in Malindi, and another one in Gong. Those are the ones I know of, but I know of others as well that are coming. So land was a big one. Uh, another one was, this is the year we had the worship album. The first worship album since 2007, can you believe it? Uh, Fall of the King, what an amazing year this has been. Jesus, you're the one I follow. You guys remember that? Uh, and wow, and already getting ready for the next uh, EP that is coming up soon. I'm very excited about the worship culture and what God is doing there. Another one was discipleship groups. I really feel like in 2023, discipleship got real. And we have so many people in Mavuno Church who now understand discipleship, are being discipled, are discipling others. Uh, in 2022, this time of the year, we had 33 discipleship groups who had just begun the shift to that. And right now, I, I, I know we have at least 127 across the whole movement, hundreds of disciples uh, being discipled all over the place. Uh, and then number four, uh, our attendance this year has really been amazing. In 2022, our average was about uh, 6,000, maybe 5,885 5, uh, people. In 2023, our average has been about 9,473, 9, almost 10,000, just short of 10,000. Our highest attendance has ranged in the, in the area of around 11,600. Uh, so many more people being influenced for the gospel. I rejoice in just the number of lives that this church is impacting. Uh, number five for me is salvation. Actually, this should have been number one. In 2022, we had 3,200 people saved. Uh, this year, just in our services, we're not counting people outside in many outreaches and other things that happen, uh, 7,029 people gave their lives to Jesus. Isn't that insane? I mean, that's a huge number we are so, so excited about. And then number six, the churches planted. 14 churches started this year. And so that this time last year, we we're about 30 or so churches. And right now we are over 55 and still counting. Uh, that's amazing because every church for me represents a, a, an opportunity for people, ordinary people to be turned into fearless influencers. People to know Jesus and become everything God created them to be. Another one, um, uh, number seven for me is miracles. Miracles everywhere. A, everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I, there are so many miracles, I can't even, we can't even recount them. Uh, I'm, right now, one that comes to mind is Victoria, who had a back injury for eight years, and she got healed this year. I mean, just as we pray for people, we've seen God do such incredible things. And I think the most important and responsible factor for this has been the fact that every week uh, this year, we gathered together uh, as a church and just prayed daily. I mean, five times a week in all our different campuses. This has become a prayer culture for us and it's been amazing to see miracles everywhere as God's people have prayed. And then the last one I want to celebrate is we were able to give over and above our tithes and offerings. We gave uh, 17 million uh, Kenya shillings towards our first fruits, uh, money that has been used to be able to pay off mortgage, to buy land as well. And so I'm so excited about what God is doing. My goodness, Look at what the Lord has done. The Bible says, count your blessings, name them one by one. It will surprise you what the Lord has done. Why don't you make your own list? Make a list in your family, things you're grateful for. Make a list in your church of things you're grateful for in 2023 and use that as an expression of thanks to say to God, God, look how far you brought me. I pray for you as we enter this new year that you will be full of thanksgiving God's people and that as you do that, you'll be preparing a platform for God's blessings in the new year. God bless you.